it's Earth Day. The history of Earth Day is long and a little bit silly, but uh, it's it's. I think it's it's honorable in its origins. It started in 1970 uh, as um, in part a response to things like Rachel Carson's uh, revelations about uh, the role that insecticides were playing in destroying insect populations and communities, and that, birds. and um, and then going up, up up to birds and uh you know that continues apace that 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 problem has not gotten better there were there were advances that we made actually uh you know we grew up in 1970s and 80s LA where the when the air quality was incredibly bad like you flew into LAX in the 70s and 80s and it was just a it was pea soup it was yellow it was disgusting and they cleaned that up Yep. And um, largely, I think that was car emission standards. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, and, you know, at some point, mid 70s, catalytic converters and leaded gasoline, like, you know, leaded gasoline went away. And uh, so that helped a lot, too. A ton. Right. Um, and California being the unusually large, populous and powerful state that it is effectively forced that change on the world. I don't know if it was inadvertent or not. But yeah. the fact is, it didn't make sense to make two kinds of cars, one for the Californians and one for, I mean, it did yeah. happen sometimes, but yeah. it, very quickly it made sense just to build cars that put out less emissions and it makes a huge difference. Yep. Actually, I would point out um, one of the ways in which our move from Oregon to Washington has been a step down is that Oregon has good emission standards and it matters. The mm-hmm. number of times you find yourself behind some vehicle belching toxic smoke right, is huge in Washington compared to Oregon because you actually get penalized for it, you know, yearly. You can't register your vehicle. Yep. Um, so anyway, those standards matter, and we forget about them. It's very easy to gripe about regulations that don't work, but, you know, it is interesting to have bounced back between these two states, which are actually politically very similar, but have come to opposite conclusions on that front. Indeed. Um, so I don't want to spend really any time mocking how bad a lot of modern sort of environmentalism is. Uh, We could spend a lot of time there, and I don't think it's all that helpful. But I will say, you can show here my screen briefly, Zach, that EarthDay.org, in celebration of Earth Day, um, has a uh, take action Watch Live Earth Week on Earth Day I, and they have six recommendations. Earth Day I will push for climate literacy will grow trees, will support sustainable fashion, will help end plastic pollution, will attend a cleanup, will vote Earth. So if I may have my screen back. Um, if you click through on those, and I, you know, I'll link to this in the show notes, but I don't necessarily recommend that you do. A couple of those are honorable. Help end plastic pollution. Yeah, we got a problem. We got a serious problem. Any beach you go to, at least in the tropics, and apparently the like a large part of the middle of the Pacific Ocean is just teeming with plastic. We got a big problem, right? And that's the stuff you can see. The microplastics is is a bigger problem, probably. Um, some of those are vague. Uh, others misguided of those those recommendations on Earth Day, which you see if you click through and like, oh, I'm going to vote Earth. Wait, no, you have to vote the way they want you to. And it turns out if you read the fine print, it's not actually going to be good for the Earth. So I read that and I thought, well, geez, right away I can see that there's some big things that are missing from that. Um, on Earth Day, I would like to work or s- to work to slow or halt non-reversible solutions that impact Earth and its inhabitat inhabitants. Things like um, stopping or slowing the application of glyphosate on crops, the use of neonicotinoids uh, insecticides on crops, which again um, kill the insects and then the birds that eat them and up and up and up the food chain. I would like there to be no mRNA on my meat. Thank you very much. And I'd like roads to be built into wild, deep nature only under conditions when it is absolutely, absolutely necessary. And that was just like the first four things that came to my head. Yeah. In terms um, of like on Earth Day, uh, let's not sign a petition letter. Let's be thinking about the actual things that are happening all the time that are actually making this beautiful planet of ours less beautiful by the day. Yes? I just want to, one correction before yes. our uh, lame ass detractors come after you. Um, synthetic mRNA. You don't want in your meat. Sure. Yes. Right. right. Okay. You Th- could those, imagine. I don't care. Like those, <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> not, not you, but. <laughs> but them. Yeah. Yes. 